Hey everybody, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com here with a quick take look at the PC Audio Labs Rockbox. Specifically, this is the PC Audio Labs Rockbox MC7XS. Had to throw in a little rock and roll intro for you there. If you haven't heard of PC Audio Labs before, they are a high-end custom system builder out of California that builds systems specifically for video, audio, and lighting production professionals. So this is a custom-built system that will excel in those applications and usage models. It's based on Intel's second-generation Core i7-2600K processor. And full disclosure, this system has been sponsored for the Hot Hardware Giving Thanks sweepstakes where you can actually win this system. So stop by our site if you want to get in on the sweepstakes, but we figured we'd give you just a quick preview look at what this system is made of and what it takes to be a rock box from PC Audio Labs. So the first thing to note about the Rockbox MC7XS is that it's built in a Lian Lee all black aluminum mini tower chassis. It's a very straightforward minimalistic design, uh, not a lot of glitz and flair. It's designed to tuck out of the way, be barely seen and definitely not heard. This is a very quiet case. Up top you get a pair of USB ports as well as a headphone jack and a microphone jack. This is actually a 24X Pioneer dual layer DVD CD burner. You've got four more USB ports here, a 1394 6P port and a 1394 4P port, as well as eSATA all up front. So lots of access and I.O. here. Uh, and you do have an indicator light here for activity on each of these ports. You get a power button, reset button, and hard drive and power status indicator lights right here and here. With the system, we got a myriad of software, including uh, Windows 7 64-bit pro Professional, and actually the repair disks for that, the reinstalled disks. You also get Sonar X1, Cakewalk Sonar X1, which is really nice. Nero Essentials, Nero 9 Essentials, and of course, motherboard drivers and software and the manual. And again, there's your Windows 7 Professional 64-bit uh, uh, installation disk. So, Nice little software bundle that comes with the Rockbox MC7XS. And here's a look at the slew of I.O. connectivity on the back side of the system. Again, this system is designed to take lots of content in and pump lots of content out. So lots of connectivity here. You've got another three FireWire ports up here in one of the card slots. You've also got a discrete graphics card here, DVI out, HDMI, and VGA. You've got your surround sound audio ports right here, microphone in, line uh, out, as well as front and center and rear channels. Um, and uh, of course, you've got USB 3, a pair of USB 3 ports, gigabit Ethernet, eSATA, another FireWire port, a pair of USB 2 ports right here, display port, HDMI, also integrated on the motherboard, and uh, SPDIF optical output, as well as DVI and VGA, again, on the integrated graphics of the motherboard, but you do have a discrete graphics card. PS2 port and another pair of USB 2 ports. Here's your exhaust for the power supply, and this is actually just your power plug right there. All right, and so here we are on the inside of the case, and as you can see, the drive rack area is very full. You've got three hard drives here. You've got a two terabyte sample drive, 7200 RPM, 64 meg cache sample drive. And sample, they mean audio and video samples. That's what you would put a ton of your content on for bulk storage. A one terabyte, 7200 RPM, 32 meg cache audio drive right there. And then this is a 500 gig, 7200 RPM, 16 meg cache OS primary drive. What you can't really see too well right here is the 20 gig Intel 311 SSD. This is a cache drive actually, an SSD caching drive along with the Sandy Bridge chipset and processor provides Intel SRT smart response technology caching for the OS drive and so you get SSD like response from this standard hard drive in conjunction with this SSD actually offers impressive performance in things like PC Mark 7 and PC Mark Vantage are standard applications tests that we've run on this just as a quick sanity check. Up here is your 24x dual layer DVD burner. And here we are looking a little bit more squarely at the motherboard area, so we'll go run down the rest of the system components for you. Specifically, this is a Gigabyte GA-Z68X UD3HB3 motherboard, right there. That is a mouthful, but uh, <laughs> suffice it to say it's a nice higher-end uh, Gigabyte motherboard. It's got a pair of by 16 PCI Express slots. Uh, they're actually PCI Express 3 compatible. Here is a Radeon HD 5450 graphics card. It is a completely silent solution. There's no fan on this graphics card. It's a lower-end graphics card. It's not going to give you a ton of gaming capability, but it does 
do very well with uh, HD video and digital uh, media production in general. So uh, you do get all the goodness that comes with a discrete graphics card in that regard. You get 16 gig of DDR3-1333 system memory right there. And this is the PC Audio Labs PCAL Quiet Operation Cooling Solution is what they call it. I think it's actually an Arctic Cooling uh, I'm going to say uh, heatsink that's mounted on top of the Core i7 uh, Sandy Bridge processor in there. Um, that's my guess. Uh, I haven't ripped it apart to look at it, but uh, suffice it to say that this is a very quiet heatsink and fan assembly. So this system, when it's running, is super quiet. You almost can't hear it running. And down here, finally, is an Enermax Naxon NAXN 600 watt power supply with really nice webbed sleeved cabling. And as you can see, the cable uh, routing and uh, tie work here is actually pretty nice. You know, it's all zip tied together. Not a lot of room in this case to tuck cables in and out of the way, but they did keep things clear of the motherboard area and lots of airflow around the um, cooling fan for the CPU as well as the graphics card. So uh, one more thing up top, you can't quite see it, is a PCI Firewire 400 card. Again, if you remember poking out the backside of the system, for uh, those three extra FireWire ports out the back. So all told, this is a multimedia content creation powerhouse, again, built on an Intel Core i7-2600K processor. And so stop by our site and jump in on the Hot Hardware Giving Thanks sweepstakes if you wanna get in and try and win this puppy. This has been a quick take look at the PC Audio Labs Rockbox MC7XS. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.